This is an old style repeater. It's very cheap. I guess. Well, two blocks of dirt instead of three blocks of smooth stone, I guess. Still, when it's going to get blown to hell. Ooh! <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> that was a mm, fail. Fantastic. Oh, I've been wanting to do that for a while. I've been holding off a little bit. <laughs> Boom. Oh. That was a mighty big hole. Come on, blow up. So, today. Today we're going to be looking at. Aha! That's the spider room. Oh well. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing hopefully something just a little bit of fun and um, where's that light coming from? Ah right I see. Um, just a little project that I've been playing around in my mind with in my mind for a little while. I've not done any testing on it. Um, and I've kind of held off basically because um, it involves silverfish and it involves using them to mine resources or at least get rid of the stone around the resources I want to mine. And um, well, we all, we all know who. Yeah, this could be a bit dangerous actually. Um, we all know who's been doing that and uh, I've never wanted to feel like I'm copying anybody else, especially someone as big as Etho. Um, but it is something that I would like to play around with and I have decided that um, I want to do more things in this LP that are basically just silly stuff that interests me um, rather than you know um, massive builds obviously I'm still going to do those big builds but um, we're going to have a bit more stuff going on I think that is basically just fun little projects for me so um, I'm gonna light this place up and uh, we'll get back to you bloody hell you know what in fact I'm gonna turn my mic off and record this and maybe do uh, some fast forwardy stuff for you because it's going to be a moderate adventure which may contain at times at least mild peril <laughs> okay go you know it's been ages since I kissed you you know just how much I've missed you you take me back down I know it's too long since I 
to appear to be there um, even though they weren't um, so yes oh, we reached the limit of how much TNT my game my computer can handle in this game um, but uh, yes oh that's a dark thing hanging down so <coughs> what we're gonna do today is we're going to try and remedy a resource issue. Um, well, I say remedy. We're really just playing. Um, but um, hopefully, as a side effect, it will remedy our resource issue. Um, because we have a woefully small supply of diamonds. I'm not the best at mining, really. I tend to hunt for what I need and then stop. Um, so, never really have a surplus of stuff apart from cobblestone, and um, this um, project here with the grotto has become much more of an aesthetic thing for me, um, and so I'm mining out a much taller area, blowing out a much taller area than I originally planned to. And um, and the upshot of that is that um, it's not really paying off in terms of resources in the way that I had hoped initially, which is okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to head up to sport, uh, head up to the top. I've got a chest laid out up there. And we're going to head to spawn and try and find a new stronghold. Um, because obviously I destroyed the spawner, the silverfish spawner, in the one we're using at the moment. And that's okay. I don't particularly want a silverfish spawner in there. Oh dear. That was a bad shot. Um, I don't particularly want a silverfish spawner in there because... Um, at some point I will go and make a proper room out of that um, that looks nice and everything um, and a silver s silverfish spawner doesn't really have any part to play in that 
Um, so, especially as my plan is pretty much going to tear the place apart. So, we've got some supplies. I don't know why I've got a ladder in there. And we're going to head to the little spawn house. And I'll see you across there. Okay, so here we are. Um, what we're going to do is... Let's see. Now... I've forgotten the coordinates of the base. <laughs> oh... I think we're going, sh the base goes up in X and down in Z, so mm, is that way, somewhere, or is it that way, oh just a minute, okay right so according to my last episode base is around 1500 X, so going up in X and minus seven seven five three, so going down. So base is somewhere over that direction, and we and so the our stronghold is somewhere over that direction as well. So it seems logical to me. Well, let's oh, that's my iPad. Um, well, let's just throw. Excellent, right, I don't think that can possibly be our stronghold over there because it would be miles away, so yeah, I'm going to go on a journey to find this stronghold and uh, yeah, I'll bring you back in. Okay guys, I think we've got it. Somewhere down here. Are you going to pop back out to me? With the new patch you should... Oh, it's popped up there. Oh, excellent. Right, so it must be somewhere directly below that. Uh, let's go to the bottom of the hill. What? <sighs> okay, so apparently I'm getting some form of lag. Uh, do, 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 do. <coughs> Here we'll do. Let's go in a bit. Um. I guess we'll go down and I shall let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that eyes come out on the top of the mountain. And the reason we've got eyes with us is because um we're gonna want to ignite the portal so that we've got a nice easy way of getting home. It'll be a bit of a pain getting out here. We'll have to do use the nether for that, but um, we'll be able to get out nice and e uh, get back nice and easily at least. Anyway, I'll see you down there. Can you hear it? Yep, I can hear it. In fact, I can hear the lava as well. Right. Uh, let's go back up a little bit. Uh, oh, no, which way? That way. Let's go from here. Just put a few exploratory... Is it over here? Oh. 
That's the second one of these little rectangular rooms I've found. Hmm. No? Okay. Oh! I <laughs> didn't notice that the first time. That's the boy. Right. Okay, so I'm going to hollow out a room above this thing. And we'll actually just put that there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll come back to you. Okay, so we've hollowed this place out. Um, next thing we're going to do is... Put that bloody stuff out. <laughs> And this one here. What was that noise? Was that my Skype? Never heard that do that before. Um, right. Now I guess I should get down there at some point and light up that end portal. Um, however... Let's see if I can't... Here we go. Right. So, want to... S oh, he just fell down there, didn't he? Now, I have made a bit of an error here in the... Actually... Yeah, my bow's too powerful. I've not got any weapons that are weak enough. Oh, there we go. Yeah, really I need uh, damage potion or something. Go around beating them with a stick. See if we can find any. What I want to do is I want to make sure there are no silverfish blocks up here that I can stand on and then have them whipped away from me. So I'll just go and check all these blocks. Hey there. How you doing? Oh, oh, oh. It's very strange. There are blocks that are bursting open with silverfish that I could swear I checked. Hmm. Take it. Oh, look at them glitching out. Silverfish do seem to be more laggy than any other mob. I don't know if it's because it's a... Well, it's not that complex a model. I guess com in comparison to a zombie, but... Yeah, what I needed really was snowballs. And I'm going to need those to make this project work anyway. Prepared as always. Master of preparation. Where are you even at? Hmm. Anyway. I got on with this. Okay. Meet Henry. The helpful snowman. Popped out to get some wood. Saw some snow in the distance. Was lucky enough to find some pumpkins. So, we can do this a little bit more properly. Let's see, where's the spawner? Oh, creeper down there. There we go. OK. 
Can I hit them? Can I act? Come on. Oh. <clears throat> Is that lava that's been uncovered or light from somewhere else? So, at the moment, we're going to use these to clear out all this space below us. Eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to have a platform. The platform's going to have to go down lower so that we can get these things to fall down um, and so that we can still hit them, basically. Now, one thing I'm going to have to experiment with is can a spawner spawn its mobs into vines because I'd like to grow a checkerboard of vines down here down from here so that where'd that light go to then? <laughs> um, so that because um, the hole's going to get pretty deep under here and um, I don't want them just falling to their doom I want them to fall and then go into blocks. Still hear them popping. Um, <laughs> um, so that's one thing I'm going to try. Um, once they start dying as they spawn because they're dropping so far basically. Um, but if you <laughs> um, if you didn't realize oh, that could be a problem actually I need to light that portal that'd be interesting. Um, uh, yeah so oh can I not can I spawn split these? Oh yes I can. Oh well, I might as well just collect more. Um, yeah they will only go into stone, stone brick, cobblestone, mossy, things like that. They won't go into ore blocks. So we can use these to reveal all the ore blocks basically. Oh, <laughs> lost those. Um, Let's get rid of some of this. Um, and hopefully, once it gets down to diamond level, we should be easily able to locate um, diamonds, redstone, all of that stuff. In fact, what biome are we in? Extreme Hills. So we should be able to get some uh, emeralds out of this as well. Um, where are they all gone to? Oh, have they gone into blocks, maybe? I didn't think I was far enough away for that, but they might have. Oh, there's a, some. Yeah, so hopefully we'll end up with a big cavern that's just got big, lots of floating ores in it which we can then go down and collect almost at our leisure. Um, I think that's probably where we are at the moment. <laughs> this is awesome. And then once we get down to the bottom there I'll build a wooden platform below the spawner so that we can spawn them and lead them off into the local vicinity but I don't think we're gonna go building like nether transport and stuff like that I'm hoping that this area is gonna give us enough resources to be going on with awesome <laughs> this is cool Mm. 
Mm, couldn't quite get the super speed going there. I love this. This is brilliant. Need to find some better way of seeing down there and being able to fire down there though. I wonder. Can I fire through the... Oh, I doubt I can fire through the hitbox of those things. any suggestions to make it easier to hit these things I would be interested most interested Nearly. I think Splash uh, Poison is probably going to be a slightly better, slightly better for us on this. Anyway, we're going to run out of time on this, so um, we've got a few tasks to perform. One of those is... Oh, um, I used this bed to skip the night and I've broken it on purpose because I don't want my spawn set. Um, so when we go through to the end and come back it's gonna bring us back at um, the spawn village which is easy enough to easy enough to um, thingy thing thing thingy thing <laughs> to, to get back home from that's right Uh, well, I wonder, can a flame bow do it? No. That's a shame. So, let's see where this brings us out. Oh! Oh! Okay, that's a good job I wrote down the coordinates. This is the spawn portal. Oh! Right, okay. Well, I was going to light up the end portal as well. Oh, that means I'm going to have to go all the way there again. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well. 
that's a bit of a bugger. Really what I need to do is go back in the nether. I need to get some more obsidian, go back in the nether and um and find the coordinates of that stronghold. Divide by eight, lady dead -de bear. Oh well. We're out of time for today, so um yeah. Maybe we'll carry on with this next time. Um maybe not. <laughs> Alright, well, until next time, guys, take care of yourselves.